time being, it's all fenced in. No problem. I'll tear that fence apart. The metal's too resilient for my bombs or your muscle. No, for this job, we're going to have to rely on a stronger force. The love of a mother for her child. Uh, you got something to tell me? Yes, I've had the good fortune of locating two juvenile bear cubs. If you put them together inside that fence, they'd surely start fighting. Bears at that age are particularly antisocial. Noise from the squabble should bring their mother around to free the angry youths. I get ya. That big mama bear will be able to smash the fence no problem to free her cubs. That's correct. Beware, cubs, for you are hunted by the Murray. up, Bentley. Here comes Iron Horse number two. You and that RC chopper of yours ready? We'll get the job done, provided I can catch up with that train. better work. Sly won't stand a chance making it through this train unless I neutralize the aerial defenses. Good thing I outfitted the RC chopper with a new cannon. Let's see. The X button drops bombs and the square button shoots forward. I 
should bomb those missile launchers before things get ugly. There's more than one way to get on top of that caboose. The other clockwork lug should be hooked into the engine's furnace. Sneak your way up there and grab it.
structures there were attached to the train cars. I don't mind saying that it took some real finesse on my part to deal with the defenses. Okay, guys, this is it. Time to break into Iron Horse number three and carry away the clockwork stomach. Now, the train's moving too fast to jump onto here in town, so we'll have to catch up with it on Murray's new handcar. Once we're in position, Sly will hop aboard and make his way up to the engine. While he travels through the interior, I'll provide air support with my RC chopper. I've planned this as a textbook train robbery. If we all do our jobs right, what could possibly go wrong? 